Welcome back. Another day, another just stop oil protest. This morning, it was the turn of 55 Tufton Street in central London, a favourite hangout of Liz Truss, actually, home to right-wing think tanks targeted for their work lobbying for fossil fuel companies. So, I've got a question for you at home. Why would this change anything? With us now is Just Up oil protester James Skeet. So, James, what are you hoping to achieve by all this? Uh, well, thanks, Nadine. Um, well, as, as you're well aware, um, our dependence on fossil fuels has landed us in this cost of living crisis and this climate crisis. So what Just Up Oil are uh, calling for is an immediate transition to, um, to renewable energy. It's nine times cheaper. Um, and but, by the way, they, they do understand you can't do it immediately. Like, absolutely. You can't just well, we're, flick we're, a switch. And, absolutely. Well, what, I mean, what we're calling for those... is no new licensing or consent. Yes, so we no actually have eight licenses. years in I supply. think that's a difference. Because... And what we're calling for is, is, is um, a, an immediate uh, role out of insulation of people's homes, which would help with people's bills this winter, uh, free public James, transport. James, that's not going to keep people warm. That's it not going to stop well, it'll do a downside getting better pneumonia. Than fracking. It's not going to keep babies warm in their cots at night. I think night. it will. I think and that's the purpose of insulation. do you not think you're turning though, think? people off what your objective and what you're trying actually, to do? Actually, funnily you're enough, Paul came, out yesterday, Paul came out yesterday saying the 66% national support for direct action to protect the climate. Who did that, which I, Who well, did that I, I don't know, but I tell you what, it sounds a lot did better you pay than for that. that poll? No, it's a, it was a. We didn't even. We didn't have to. Um, but it sounds a lot better than the Tory party's uh, uh, approval ratings at the moment. And nothing so. to do with us, James. <laughs> Honestly, I think you're turning people off. What you're trying to. What you're trying to achieve. I, you're stopping I kids that. getting to school. You're stopping ambulances getting to hospitals. You're stopping we have a blue light policy. We work. always let ambulances through. Yeah, and yeah, and in fact, and that. In fact I'm actually the, sympathetic the ambulance... that so many young people feel terrified, as, and they as might they look and think that nothing's really changed. I also would like to point out that with a recession coming hard down at us. You are right, there are going to be eco-climate objectives which are going to be put to one side. I, I do believe and that. It happened that in, is, it it happened positively and genocide. Do you support this? Yes. No, you support I'm Martin saying that I, I, I don't Taylor. agree with it. I'm saying that I sympathise with the panic that That's the young people feel. That's going to result in the of millions of people. That but I, I am genuinely worried that... Are you, are you happy? But, like, I'm you've genuinely both got worried children. your message, you've both got children. the way you're doing it, your message is getting obliterated. You're turning that, people off, and you're introducing policies which will save the planet, James. Well, it's got me on your programme, hasn't it? But, I mean, both of you have got children. Can you honestly look them James, in the eye and say... you're because you're annoying, not because uh, well, of what I, you're I doing. Well, I know I'm annoying, but I've got, I'm a man of many talents. But, look, I, I know, like, you, can you honestly say and look in your children's eyes when they ask you, what did you do to avert this crisis? Can you honestly say that James, you did everything that you could? We do lots, and so do lots of households, lots of people. I've seen your initiative. voting record, Nadine. That's not true. Lots of... I'm an absolutely massive supporter of COP26. It was the best environmental conference to be yes, held it's achieved in this absolutely country nothing, this hasn't year. It? No, James, it hasn't. It got us net zero. You know, it's, it's, it's put us the, on the path This year was the first time that they were discussing fossil fuels. What the hell were they James, discussing the other James, 25 you're times? Deflecting. You're deflecting from the fact that what you're doing is actually not achieving your objective. You're, you you're should be trying to bring right. both people of, both into you, your own side. Both of you are strong, powerful course. women. You, you have ended up in this position because very admirable women took civil resistance and, and therefore you're, and changed history and you're now in that now position. Now you've got us. You see? Um, and, and the fact is... But they is weren't that, annoying, James. They were they fighting were, They were a lot more animals. annoying than us, and they were a lot more destructive. James, thank you for coming on and fighting <laughs> your cause today. That's it from me. I'm off to take... Oh, sorry, Nadine is off to take a seat on the back. <laughs> then, James, sorry. Whatever you're up to, make sure it's Bye. uncensored. Good night. Good night. night.